Hey guys, Leo here, back with Ninja again. Uh, third installment now, I think. So we're gonna be working on Ninja's neck. Uh, this area here, the upper trap, left scap area, I guess the area that connects your, your neck into your shoulder or your shoulder blade. There are some common attachment points that are shared between these two points here. So I might just start off with a bit of palpation. Ninja's looking like your left, a bit more tone here in this left upper trap. This one seems to be a bit more relaxed on this side. There's a lot more kind of movement, freedom of movement in here. I can kind of get through a lot more, but there's a lot more right now pushing back up into my fingers on this left side. So a bit of tension in there that we can clean out. Um, we'll start here though, on that shoulder blade, spine of the scap here. We'll use this part as our sinking point. And Ninja's already like intuitively like moving his head and neck around. so. We're kind of getting another um, aspect of sort of change on the tissue with that dynamic stuff. So it's a good way to just feel into your body as well and like make sense of the structures that are connecting into this area. Obviously, if he moves his head, you know, to the right like he's doing, it puts this these tissues on stretch. So you can get a different feel here, and I can feel it tugging under my thumb here as well. So he's got that kind of line of tension. Nice and taut there for me to tune into. So stiffness of the neck, you know, we're pretty, like this day and age, a lot of us sitting behind a desk or leading quite sedentary lifestyles, you know, these tissues kind of jam up or get calcified or, yeah, I guess condition themselves to how we move our bodies. And if we're not moving them, then you can't really expect too much movement in the tissue. But there's so much range that we can actually get in the neck that we don't really access from time to time. So this can be a good opportunity while you're getting treated to tap into that sort of, that movement range or like realize the range of movement that you might have in your body. So you can just come up to, I reckon just neutral mate. Maybe just think about just relaxing this shoulder a little bit. Yeah, that's way better. So what you can do, even some shoulder movements here as well, like um, maybe some elevation of the shoulder. So. Now keep the arm where it is, Ninja. Just think about lifting the shoulder up. Yep. Yeah. Some elevation, depression like that. So you're actually using this muscle to lift the shoulder up. Levator scapula, elevator of the scapula, lifting up the shoulder essentially. Um, but what I like to encourage clients to do here, Ninja, just sit up a bit proud and nice. Just relax that shoulder. And just think about like, just turning your head to the right, man. Yep, and then come over to the left again. Yeah, think about just maybe slowing the movement down a bit. Yep. Yep, just have it like within your control. Keep turning to the left. So think about just hinging on that neck there. Yep. Yep, nice. And then back over to the left hand side. Really good, really just trying to access those end ranges. So with Ninja, he's got a bit of tilt happening in his head as he's kind of turning. Yeah, yeah, keep it just exactly. Think of your neck just on this swivel point, exactly. Coming out to the right. Yeah, really good. And back to the left again. Whoa. So, yeah, really good. Just under your own control, Ninja, man. Just flirting with that pain, I guess. Yeah, it's intense. Mm -hmm. it's, but it's good. You know, it's good. So let's turn back to the right again, mate. So I reckon what you've got to do on this change, Ninja, is probably just slow coming out of that end range. You can go a bit quicker through the middle, but it's almost like a bit abrupt when you come out of that range. Yeah, it's way better. So you can speed it up there a bit if you want, as long as it's nice and smooth, yep. Think about keeping your eyes just level here. Yeah, cool, 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 exactly like that, mate, yeah. It's, yeah, it's good that you, you kind of chose the left, I reckon, because I'm going to pick up there's something in my neck. Sure. Yeah, it was sort of, didn't have that much awareness of, so mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's really good. So that's the thing, you can have feedback of your body, but it, it was really just even looking at it and just giving a quick palpation that there was a little extra kind of tension happening oh. on this side. So yeah, it was a bit of a speed bump happening here, but yeah, see if you can just keep your eyes kind of level with the horizon, that's really good an inch. Come back to the middle. 
The next exercise needs, let's try this one out, man. Just like tilt your head that way. Yep, again, slow coming out of that. And let's go to the right hand side. So just keep your eyes looking at that wall. Yep. And back this way. Think about hinging here at my. Yep, yep, yep. Exactly. Just use your neck, no shoulders. Whoa. So again, we're starting to just get specific awareness around the cervical spine as opposed to you know, using your TX or your, your shoulders to facilitate the movement. We just want some pure movement coming around the neck, reintegrating um, the movement patterns that the neck specifically is responsible for and the musculature surrounding that, that system. So it's just a good opportunity for play here, getting back in touch with this specific part of the body. And these are the two kind of, you know, primary exercises that the neck really does facilitate, which is um, number one, rotation, lateral flexion. For this particular muscle anyway, left scap. I'm not sure if it does get into some extension as well of the spine. But that's another movement pattern we can practice also. Ooh. Ninja, come back to neutral, mate. And see if you can just, yeah, come into some extension. Yep, and then flex forward. And a couple more times. It's a really good pace, by the way. Ooh. So this is kind of slow pace, man. You, you, every degree of range you want, I guess, under your control, or you want to try and master. The moment you see kind of stuttering or skipping through degrees, um, it's an opportunity for you to think about regaining some conscious control of the area. So I feel like I'm on a pretty good line here, Ninja, as I'm working up towards the mastoid process, which is the attachment of that left scap. Um, and then, yeah, just give the client some free reign here. Ninja's just kind of hunting around some different angles. Um, and what I like to do is just encourage a client just to get into some, you know, at least try and access some end ranges as well. Ooh. All right. It's good in there, man. Mm -hmm. So just another element to the treatment, guys, it's, you know, we kind of change the tissue and the physiology by, by treatment, but there's this third layer of it that can um, further advance treatment outcomes. And it's, it's all in this movement-based protocol. So Ninja, I reckon come back up again. Yeah, just sit up a bit prouder too. Nice, nice. And now just try some rotation again to the left. And let's go right again, slowly. Couple more times. Just sit up a bit prouder, mate. Yeah, keep that nose level with the horizon. Nice, nice. And to the right. Yep. Turn, 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 turn that chin. Yep. Come back to the middle. Sit so, up. Yep. And then just try that hinge again. Right yeah, that way. Right yep. Yep. Exactly, just think about pinching my thumb here. And now slowly turning out this way, as in the hinging out that way, mate, yep. Right here is exactly where the, where the money's at. Cool, so just give me a few more right and left hinges for me. Now you don't have to access completely, you know, the range might be a bit more limited here as I work further up the spine, but. And yeah, you, you'll see it on clients too, like you, you'll get them to rotate or hinge and you know, the rotation might come with a bit of bending down, like they can't access that pure rotation or that pure flexion. It might, um, they might need to access other planes to, to get into those positions. So again, it's a, as I say, it's important, or I guess it is a really good opportunity to tap back into some fundamental movement practices um, and just get more in tune and more in depth with your movement 
uh, movement being the language of the body, just speaking your body's language, you know, getting more, um, yeah, intimate with your own body, understanding it more. Once you understand it more and can speak the language of it, you're able to tune in and listen to what your body's trying to say with any ailments or stiffness or pain that arises. Uh, you just get a greater, deeper sense of understanding of what that might mean for you. Um, and it will just tailor your treatment and your, your plan for your health accordingly. So um, let's feel around there. Any sensation changes left to right side, Ninja? How are you feeling, feeling there, good, man? man. Yeah. It's, it's what I was intuiting into was like just in here. Yeah. Just sort of that bit there. Sure. It's just, but yeah, I can start to notice it when you were working. And sure. Yeah, it's good to kind of have that experience of feeling things being really intense at the start and then melting. And then the pain goes, the movement comes. So it's sort of, yeah, it's on the spot. On the spot, that's results. it. Results, yeah. So that, that's one line that I like to do up there, that left scap. Um, we'll take a similar approach up the neck from the shoulder but from a different angle, mainly through that upper trap. So it's the second main line, the second main line that I like to do. And yeah, typically, you know, upper traps, we all kind of know of that, that muscle, even if you're not really in the industry, you, you sense some tension for some of you guys that maybe wake up with a crook neck or, you know, high stressful environments, work, life, etc. This area of the body, you know, boom, we become quite tense up here, holding onto the tension. So, um, Treatment again, we can release some of that, melt away some of that holding and again, encourage some movement in here as well. A little bit of bioenergetics is essentially what we're doing here too. Movement can release tension, relax the muscle as well. So yeah, I think we found that line now through the upper trap. Yeah. So I reckon come around here, Leo, man, just check it out. So yeah, we're gonna just work all the way up that way. Yeah, you can feel there's a knot there, you're about to yeah, so pass was, over. <laughs> we'll try and pass through Ooh. instead of over. Yeah. Sometimes we run into these speed bumps, but the, the slower we go, we can kind of melt it as we go over that arm ball, go through it. Yeah. And this is what I was palpating for at the start of the session. These knots through the upper trap. So Ninja again, just come up to neutral mate and just try some slow rotation left for me. And right. Yep. Whoa, that's intense. Yep. Let's go left again. Just think about turning this side of your face over. Yep, exactly. Yeah, it's like this side of your face is pulling back this way and this one is kind of stretching across that way. Oh. So this is pure rotation right now. It's interesting that I don't have um, too much awareness of where my, how my head's moving. Yeah, so Leo, so. if you come across from the back here, uh, man, just... Yeah. Without a mirror, you know, you kind of... Um, yeah, without a mirror. You kind of get guided, but yeah. So turn to the... Yeah, keep turning, Ninja. Yeah. Yeah, let's go to the right. Oh, kills. Yeah, just own, own your range, Ninja. So that right isn't too bad, you can see. If you go to the left, Ninja, nice and controlled. There's a bit of a drop in the chin and the head. And so it's kind of coming to some flexion to facilitate more rotation in the neck, so. So let's come back to the middle ninja, yeah, sit up nice and proud. So this time we'll start with some, I reckon still come around in Leo, but this hinging action here ninja man. So, yep. And then just think about pinching my thumb here. Uh, yeah, there it is. There it is. There's like a big ass knot there. Yeah, so we'll try and work this one out. Nice. Yeah, just hinging here. Uh, nice. So even just these like subtle cues, kind of tapping where you want the hinge points to be. 
and just kind of guide that client into just some deeper presence of the movement. We flicked over something there, I think, man. Yeah, man. We still didn't hurt at all. Yeah, cool. Still feel like the right line here, or could I be? Yeah, yeah you good. Could, yeah, just there. Even a bit more forward and this way. Oh no, back. Back, back, back there. Yeah, bit. that one there. Just a little. Yeah, into that. Yeah. Line there and up. Yeah. That's the thing, when we do have our eyes closed, it's that, I guess, our sense of um, balance or awareness of the horizon and our body in space kind of changes, you know, you're really forced to tap into this internal awareness of time and space. Yeah. So again, another opportunity to really dive into your, oh, your inner movement mind. Jeez. So we've got a hot spot here. I reckon a little bit of rotation to the left or right ninja. Yep, just keep moving. Yep, nice control. That's cool. That's good, man. That's it. That's him right there. Yeah. Nice. Let's come to the middle again, mate. And just a little hinge over my thumb here, just pinch oh, my thumb. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. And then hinge away on this side. Cool. And just relax in there. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. So client's client is guiding me here, man. He's told me oh, that this is the the line, this is the one, this is the stairway to heaven right here. Yeah, that's it. So again, it's just me yeah, guiding the micro yeah. movements. Oh. Gold. Oh. Dear, dear. So just support with my right hand, left hand is mining for the gold here. We're kind of flush up against the mastoid process now, which is the attachment. So that's where we're going to do the finish of the, or finalize the cleaning up through here. Yeah, brilliant. All right, man, so yeah. that's our neck and a bit of shoulder, but some specific, what we like to call, um, what's the word, dynamic movement treatment. You know, yeah. dynamic treatment, which we kind of specialize in here. And um, you're not really going to get this sort of work anywhere else. So. Um, ninja should be feeling really, really will look yeah. a lot freer on this side um, than that right side. And uh, yeah, we've just, he's done a deeper dive into his body today and just a bit more awareness of, um, you know, how to use that joint or those joints there in the spine, in that cervical spine, and we can clear out some of that tension. So um, that's all there is to it, guys. Book in if you need some work. Peace. Good done.